you actually seen Larry Lur versus Zenodo. Uh, they traded sets. So Zenodo having no issue fighting Fox, also a uh, longtime uh, training partner with Michigan's Ksev, who doesn't play no necessarily as much, but he's well versed in the Fox matchup. Yeah, Ksev more of a family man now, even though like not necessarily have a family, just working on uh, focusing on his job and such. It's one of the hosts of this great event right here that you're able to watch. Oh yeah, so shout outs to him. Shout outs to Mickle in the camera too. I love that guy. Uh, <laughs> so this is such a huge event. Snoople uh, looking maybe a little overwhelmed or just like looking uh, making making probably making his game plan right now of how he's gonna handle this like i said he had a really last hit game three situation with mvd at middle fan five which is quite some time ago but also he's got uh, also a, a, a long time set win on jj rockets like a, a old school one uh i think for the green fox color i'm the lilac cruise pick right here all right, very interesting stage to start on. Not something you see too often. And I spoke earlier about Bale Vortex and Vortex characters in general. You'll see them in different fighting games and including Smash. Fox is definitely one of those Vortex characters. If he's able to put Diddy into that Vortex, that, that Fox Vortex, it will pay dividends to him. Uh, this is what I love about some teams. We will play every Wednesday at Ignition. Is His uh, ledge pressure is uh, one of his greatest strengths. And also his ability to come back from a loss and a little bit stronger next time in the matchup. So let's see how he applies that here with a little bit of a percent lead, but Zenodo applying the pressure and getting the reactions. Right, right. And as you see, this is winner's round two. It'll say winner's round three on Smash GG. But the winner of this will go on to play against Cells to make it out. Winner side, top 32. Uh, so we got some crazy stack talent right here in pools. And it's a very scary situation, but gets back on the ledge. But Zenodo is still applying that ledge trap situation, looking a lot like Zero. And like we said, uh, this matchup starting on Lila right here, Zero and Larry Lur famously start on Lila every time they play. Right. That could have been an up smash punch right there, but I definitely, definitely give a shout to Snoofle. Going for a dash attack, a more safer option. Almost you don't want to give up the lead right now. Almost taking the first stock on Zenodo with that back air. Right. Very close oh, match. Oh, he got that forward smash, but not quite. And it's very weird to angle your back airs as a pressure tool, but not right there. Taking the first stock on the second seat of the tournament, but this is still a best of three set, and Zenodo it can retaliate right here, right now. And that's what he's going to be looking to do. Has a banana in hand and stage control. What's he going to go for? And just the patience on this man. Keep his stage control and forcing Snoofle to make an unsafe decision. Well, maybe, maybe Larry Lerner knows something about this uh, matchup on this stage right here because it's working out for Snoofle a little bit, but we can't count Zenodo out because just like that, down tilt the fair, stage control is immense. Yeah, I was actually expecting a raw back air. The hit on that would have been as strong as the Epp smash that we just saw out of Zenodo to even this game up. Yeah, both these characters have very unsafe side B habits that you want to avoid as much as you can because you could lose your stock just like that. There's going to be a throw, getting the stage control and keeping the pressure going. Oh, no, here, here comes the Vortex. Down throw into the... Wait. No, nothing. No, that was a wait. That was a good wait. He wanted to see if Zenodo pushed the button or just landed on safe. And oh. he gets that percent. That's a Did he his, he, I thought he took his jump right there. The Trump, too. No buffering an option, but Snoofle looking so good in this game one. Definitely, definitely playing out of his mind. Snoofle, the young god, we are seeing this right now. Yeah, but Zenodo, again, the second seed for a reason, uh, getting the lead just from that conversion. Banana down tilt, down smash, and now this is an uphill battle for Snoofle. I'm also liking that Snoofle's able to mix up his options to get back on stage, not really dealing with the shenanigans. Oh, no. Back There's going to be back throw. Stage control. Gets yeah. A punish right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, Don't get light at it. With the tech. Let's oh go. my goodness, he's still in this. The rage on Snoofle will work out for him if he's able to get a good down or nair conversion into the up smash. The spiral oh. hitbox will... Ah. Catches the landing with that up tilt, the hidden kill move from the Diddy Kong. And then, uh, I, I, I think Snoofle was just very happy to be alive from that Lilat situation where he didn't think, but I think that the uh, up B hitbox could have true combo into up air or back here, giving him either a lot of damage or even like a huge stage control. Uh, but again, uh, I might have been just in shock that he was still alive. Right, right. He was more worried about getting his feet planted back on the ground as opposed to going for that. And again, getting the stage control, as you were saying. But again, uh, in those kind of situations, you want to take everything you can get. You want to be on point as you can. Snoople taking an early lead with that 1% huge laser. So yeah, heading to town City, we're going to have some platforms to work with, some moving platforms on both characters' part. He actually with, uh, missed the punish right there. Yeah, but I love his patience to be no to shield when Zenodo is pushing buttons. And he's dead, yeah. And he goes for it. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's fine. No, he is not a mistake from Zenodo. So it's back to even, only 30 seconds in. The hardcore conditioning from Snoople right there to enforce that situation. <laughs> and he gets the grab. Here we go, looking for the vortex situation. Waiting for Zenodo to push a button, but Zenodo has been fooled too many times in that situation. Right, and we're just seeing the patience come out from both players. Snoofle when he's getting the advantage. Oh, and Zenodo. Here, looking for a monkey flip and gets it, but does not get the 
Most he could get out of that punish. Regrab situation, challenge with a monkey flip kick. Most of the time, you'll see players trying to mix up their options when they end up getting uh, trumped off the stage. You'll see them rarely go for the ledge unless they're really mixed up heavy. And, uh, both of these players looking very concentrated in this game because Snoople is one good conversion away from finding a game three against Zenodo. He is. He doesn't want to give up this lead. He needs to get back center stage and control center stage. He has oh, the banana. Dash attack. Late hit dash attack into up air will kill or down air into up smash. That forward smash would have killed too. Oh, yeah, but Zenodo again with the monkey flip on. He has to start reading those. That's something Zenodo has been oh, doing a lot of. Well, but the it. back air, it is 1-1. One, one. Snoople putting himself on the board. The young Snoof. Finding his way to a game three, and that game one wasn't too far off. Neither was that game two, so we could see an upset on our hands in pools. And again, this matchup is all about the advantage state. We've seen what can happen when Zeno, excuse me, when uh, replays, when right? Fox gets the advantage state. But well, we're going to game three right here. Wonder what the stage we got, but uh, Chicago popping up for their boy, holding their. <laughs> Heads up high. They want to, oh, the SD right there. But we got the Smashville pick, which I think is a great pick for Diddy Kong in his matchup. Uh, some Foxes don't like to, uh, don't necessarily strive on this uh, stage. It's probably one of Foxes' weaker stages. Still a strong stage, but uh, Fox strives on like tri and in Time City, I think. Right. He can still work with the platform. And I'm also going to give shout outs to Snoofle. I see, I'm not just seeing him throw out the up tilts that they're landing one. He'll turn around, grab, or he'll just wait to react to see Zenodo. what Zenodo is going to do. But Zenodo. Zenodo reacting to these side Bs onto the stage and getting the lead in all the stage control in the world. Oh, with his jump, and now he's got a forced Fox into the situation where he took so much percent off stage, man. It hurts to see. It definitely does. Is he going for an angel drop? No, just gets rid of that banana. And I respect that, just holding on to that situation, because he's just one down tilt away from taking his first stock, I believe. Another good 10% down tilt and up smash will do it, or even banana into F smash. Oh, F smash would like, destroy him. <laughs> All right, almost up catching tilt, him. Here air. comes the pressure. Good air dodge on to dodge that back air. Holding on the stage control. Up smash, though. Not the best. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was way off on the percents right here. Hanging uh, on for dear life back air will not do it. Oh, my goodness. 144 Snoople still in this. Side B's on the stage just fine. Looking for a reaction from Zenodo. Tries to catch the monkey flip with a Fox up air for the damage. And all this rage sitting on Fox. Uh, we don't want to see him land on an up tilt again because up tilt will kill right now. There we go. Yeah, that hidden kill move. A lot of players don't expect that. Yeah, that's a rough commentator's curse from my boy. Uh, and all of a sudden, well, Zenodo, oh, Zenodo suddenly SD is twice. Ha <laughs> ha. But no, we have no favorites here. Zenodo is a strong player. We want to see him go as far as he can for the Midwest. We want both these players to do very well. And Snoople is showing it right here that he's a threat. There's the Darren up smash. No rage on Fox, so he's not going to be able to take out that stock. Tries to go for it again, but the back air actually stuffing out that option. Amazing oh, from Zenodo. The, mm. No rage again, but he's trying to catch him. Zenodo getting these air dodges just right. Now, Sufel doesn't need oh. to be getting overzealous with these F smashes at the ledge. It gives up stage control and gives percent oh, no, punishes oh, no, to oh, no, Zenodo. Oh, no, no, no. Forcing this side B situation. Oh, he's got the jump still. All right, Sufel making it back. He's taking a lot of percent. This is very painful to see, but Zenodo very optimal in his play. Right, just a good down tilt into up smash conversion. We'll spell doom for Snoofle and Zenodo will move on to play cells on winner side to make it out top 32. Yeah, I say it all the time versus Fox, man. If you put him in a situation where he's got an up beat, you go out there and you take his stock. But, and Zenodo's got a stock to play with so he can afford it. But Zenodo waiting for Snoofle to overextend because he doesn't have to go in at all. And there's a little bit of overextension right oh, there and he gets Snoople out of that situation. Beer. I think he's done for, man. Oh, he, he went for the Luigi killer, the monkey flip kick into the stage, which very challenges. It, it's a very hard thing to tech, honestly. No kill throw on Fox, so that back throw just giving him stage control Looking and for, pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, see, Genoa being smart not to monkey flip on stage forward throw, forward the stage control. Snoople hanging on for dear life right here. Got to take two stocks off of Zenodo. Oh, no. Gets the aerial banana, not being able to put Zenodo into tumble. It's very difficult. He's not going. He's trying to keep stage control. And again, those F smashes, not making the right reads in that situation. Zenodo, oh my goodness, applying all this pressure right here. Up tilt will do it at this percent. With Rage on Diddy, yep. Three up tilt kills in this set right here. Zenodo moving on 2 1. But what a fight from Chicago's Snoople. And I honestly, that was so huge for him. I would love to see him in top 32 tomorrow, but he's got some work to do.